Hello world, this is Imani David coming at you. I'm going to talk to you today about the Patek Philippe 3960J, limited edition, 150 year anniversary commemorative piece, made in 1989. So this piece will be 30 years old next year. And that would be the official marking for, at least in my book, um, a vintage pristine Patek Philippe. Okay, I'll try to get a close-up for you and keep this video short. The lighting is a little strange today, but I'm doing my best. I hope that's focused. Um, so it's the Patek Philippe. It's a time-only piece. It has Breguet hands, as you can see, and a sub-dial for the seconds. Aside from that, it is pretty clean. Okay. Um, it has a turban crown, what they call a turban and crown is shaped like a turban, makes it easy to wind. And this watch also has the screw down uh, straps. You know, a lot of people like to say, well, the screw down straps are really just for heavy, bulkier watches um, so to keep them in place. But the truth is most high end watches, not all, because they're, they're other technologies out there that watchmakers use aside from a spring bar to keep the band secure but um, the screw down uh, straps are something that we like to see and this is a very small watch this is a 33 millimeter watch and um, it's in yellow gold it's not very heavy it's a time only piece and still it has the screw down uh, straps okay so Arabic numerals, okay, um, white on the dial, of course. Now, this movement has the, it's a 200, it's a 215 caliber, 18 joules. And um, what else can I tell you about it? It's, uh, I'll try to get a close up there. Um, there's really not much I can tell you about it. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Now I will show you that what Patek has done here by opening the back is they have an, it's a solid case back, not display. You can engrave this if you'd like. Oop, here I am. Hey guys. And <laughs> that's how pristine this thing is, right? You can see your face and you can open it and you'll see that on the inner case, Patek has done some engraving of their own. And it, can you see that? It says... Patek Philippe, Geneva, 150 year anniversary, 1839, I believe that says, to 1989. And of course, on the inside of the case, there will be some more markings, but it's not going to focus. It's just way too much glare. Well, maybe it is. So that's what Patek has done. You can see this online. There are a few of them out there still. The um, band, of course, is also signed. Okay, Patek Philippe on the band. Come on, nothing cooperates today. All right, and of course, the pin buckle, which I don't know if I'm going to get to focus, it also has, it's also a Patek. I won't push my luck, that's not going to focus. So that's what we have today, guys. It's um, a beautiful piece really elegant from a different era, um, pristine. It doesn't get much better than this in terms of condition. And it's uh, it's just um, a very satisfying piece. All right, I don't think I've neglected to tell you anything about it. Um, it's a manual wind, you know, sapphire glass. Uh, it, it's a pretty straightforward watch, but it's worth having and worth noting. All right, guys, it's already four and a half minutes. Um, I'm going to leave this one alone now. That's enough. This is the Patek. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, kind of hurt my finger. Sorry, guys, trying to keep that out of the frame, but I wasn't able to do it. All right, guys, take care. Let me know if you want to see more. All right.